there is a free marketplace for downloading open source large language models? Hi, welcome to another Loser LLM video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at where to find open source models using LM Studio. Loser LLM. Because if everyone's a loser, no one is. Let's, look, let's take a look at some popular websites that exist out today. eBay, Facebook, most, and we're going to focus on their marketplace. Timu, Etsy, and Amazon. Now what do each of these websites have in common? Well, each one is a marketplace. You're able, as a, as a customer, you're able to access their marketplace and browse products that are listed by sellers that can actually create profiles to sell products within them. Now let's take a look at another one. Introducing LM Studio. So LM Studio is, is, is very similar to these other sites in that they offer a marketplace or a shared space to download open source models. Now, why would anybody want to do this? Well, there's several reasons. We'll focus on those later. I shouldn't have even said that. <laughs> But basically privacy and the ability to share your information because it will never go online. All right, so the first time you download and install LM Studio and open it, you're going to see this window. So let's orient ourselves or orientate ourselves based on the X in the top right hand corner of the, of the window. Now this is on Windows, so if you're on a Mac, it will be in the top right. Once we see our X, Let's look to, towards the middle of the window and see where it says select a model to load. When you click that button for the very first time, LM Studio will actually recommend to you a model to download based on the specifications of your computer. For me, for example, it's recommending a 4B model. So let's, let's imagine this as on a scale of 1 to 1,000, okay? This is a 4, so it's very small. <laughs> but it will fit on my computer that only has eight gigs of memory. So when, you, when it first appears for you, go ahead and click that download button. And it will, down, it will begin downloading the model for you. Now, in order to find additional models, again, let's orient it, orient, orientate ourselves. I don't know what the right word to use is here. Let's, let's ground ourselves by first finding the X in the top right corner of the window again and then looking at the very bottom of the window to find the gear icon. When you click that icon, a window will appear called Mission Control. On the right hand, or excuse me, on the left hand side of that window is a button called Model Search. Go ahead and click that button and it will open another window that is that Model Search option window. Now, you'll see listed here a variety of open source models available for you to download completely free and able to be run even after disconnecting your computer from the internet. And the great thing about this window is that here in the bottom right, when you click on a, on a model, it will let you know if it will or will not fit on your computer. After you've downloaded your first model, again, let's orient, let's ground ourselves by finding the X icon in the top right hand corner of the window, and then click on uh, select a model to load. When you click this, a drop-down menu will appear and listed beneath it will be the models that you have downloaded already to your computer. So as you, as you can see, this Quinn 3 4 billion parameter model is the model that was recommended to me to download. I've completed the downloading and I'm now going to click on that icon after I clicked on that select model to load. Again, orienting myself to the by the X, I click the model that I've downloaded. And I see now that, again, orienting myself on the X, I can see where this is actually a progress bar and it's loading the model into memory. Okay, so now this is, think of this as like you're going, you're getting ready to play a video game. And when you first click on that icon that's on your desktop or wherever, it has to load, right? That's what, that's what's occurring here. So now, again, orienting ourselves based on where the X is. We're going to type a message into the window at the bottom, something very simple, and then we're going to click this button, right? Or we can just hit enter. This will send the message to our model on our computer. Now, after pressing enter, 
And after grounding ourselves, we can see where the model begins processing our message, right? So I kept it very simple. I just said, hello. This is thinking, right? So it's thinking about the message I sent and then it returns a reply, right? So it says it thought for 46 seconds and then it sent a message back. Now, again, keep in mind this, I have a phone from 2023 and it has the same amount of memory as this virtual machine that's running on my computer, right? So it's a computer within a computer, computer inception with only eight gigs of memory. And I was able to run this smaller version of chat GTP on my computer, right? And we'll dig into some, we'll dig into larger models and we'll really stress the limits of what is possible. And we'll, we will quickly accelerate to the forefront of the, of the field just because we have some hardware, some dedicated hardware that can get us there. Thanks for coming to this video of Loser LLM. In the next video, we'll get set up on Langflow and we'll look at how we can actually create our very own chat interface with Langflow.